Hi there YouTube, this is a follow up video to my teardown of the Behringer uh, Zenix 302 USB mixer. I decided to draw a diagram and explain it of the audio path. I've had quite a few comments about uh, you know, how to use it in various ways um, and I also did it for my own personal use just so I understand it better. Um, as far as I understand this is correct, if I'm wrong please let someone let me know but I'm pretty sure this is right. Um, basically it's a diagram of what buttons and knobs and switches do what. Um, so over here we've got our microphone inputs and you can only use one at a time because they're connected just straight across each other in parallel so uh, uh, this only this one's phantom powered as far as I know though. They go through a preamp in here and through this gain stage so this is your gain knob uh, underneath this, it's actually physically underneath sort of this on the on the actual mixer. So that's your gain. You have to adjust that so it's not clipping. Um, basically, adjust that for a, a nice volume level through this through here. Make make sure it's not clipping. Uh, then we have our uh, equalizer and uh, and pan control, balance pan control. Uh, goes through that, and then it goes through the microphone control knob and then it goes on to the main bus here. Right. Now then we have our, our line input um, on on the top there and that goes into this red switch here as does the audio output from your computer via the USB. So it's coming from the computer and you choose if you if it's pushed up the switch is in the up position it's coming from the input here. If it's in the down position as it says it's coming from your computer. You can only have one or the other. You can't have both at once. So this is from the audio codec chip chip in the in the mixer. Then it goes through your equalizer and, and balance. Then it goes through this and then it through this volume control knob here. And then it goes to this switch which either routes this uh, sound through straight to the main mix and they and therefore through the headphones or just to the headphones and that doesn't go to the main mix which can be useful um, then we've got your two track input I'm not exactly sure of the naming why it's called two track but I guess it's just have a second input to loop through um, so you can record along to an external source um, and that will either go to main mix and then via the main mix to the headphones or just to the headphones um, now the headphones obviously take these three signals, these two we've talked about, and one off the and a signal off the main bus, um, and go just through the headphone amp and out through the headphone thing up the top. Um, and then off this bus also, before this volume control, not not after, but before this volume control, uh, the signal gets routed back to the line input or the mic input or whatever your computer calls it uh, into the computer via the USB which means if you adjust this main mix knob um, that won't uh, change the level going into the computer only these other knobs will change that so yep then it goes out to the main output there that's about all there is to it um, hope this clears things up for you um, I might post a separate picture and put a link to it Thanks for watching. Bye.